Amity's musical Legally Blonde is a L of a show, which makes Pink powerfully smart. Based on the 2001 box office smash movie Legally Blonde, the musical hit theaters in 2007 and won Best New Musical at the Lawrence Olivier Awards. The musical only recently became available for high school to produce after three years of touring. With a busy production schedule reaching back to January, the show is nearing its final curtain. On average, the student actors rehearse three hours a day during the week, also six-hour days on Saturday. The lead role of Elle Woods is a very demanding one, with the character on stage for almost every number. Ali Kramer, the senior cast in the role, enjoys working with Mr. Kennedy on the musicals. Kramer admits that she loves performing, especially the music of this play. Well, I just, I love theater and performing and um, especially Legally Blonde is such a great show. The music is so much fun, so. Even though the plot and mood of this musical are very different from the period pieces Mamdi has done in the past, the challenges of producing a more modern show are still there. There are 19 different sets in the first act alone, which contributed to the overall cost of the production. But these difficulties are not dissuading the cast. Actors are now playing roles that are closer to their age group than many of the roles in the past. All of the characters in this play are in their 20s. The music also has a more modern flair. It's set in the present day. Um, the actors in the play are, are all playing at least closer to their age than they have done in the past. You know, the, all the characters in the play are in their 20s. So um, it's a little more accessible for them. Um, so, it, you know, definitely in its feel and its style, there's rap in it, there's reggae, there's, um, there's all kinds of different modern types of music, so it makes it a little more fun. With tickets almost sold out, the show is already attracting audience members, like senior Anna Ulrich, who is looking forward to the unique style and approach Amity's Creative Theater brings to the stage. Uh, just judging from the past with the movie and the book, it is sort of a a lady show, but I'm sure that the theatrical adaptation will be great for both men and women. So, With its film counterpart bringing in over $950 million, Amity's Creative Theater hopes to have all its performances sold out in order to increase their funding for future performances. The show runs from May 11th through the 19th. For Amity Real News, I am Jacob Como.